What's up gamers, it's your boy WeDS Rebel here with some old school runescape tips and tricks. Today I'm going to show you how to kill the cow fight queen and stay longer using an alternative method. What we're doing here is stepping underneath the cow fight queen and waiting for her health bar to disappear before attacking her, just like that. Sometimes it doesn't go perfect, she may get a hit on you. That time she hit a zero, luckily, and I think the next two or three hits that happened as well. But she can hit really hard, but using this method, you're able to uh, flinch, they call it, the queen. But I just call it the under queen method. So what we're doing here is, you know, sometimes she'll move you all over the board, but that's okay. Just go with her. Try to stay underneath her. Something that's super important is turning NPC click options to right click only. This is so you don't accidentally hit or spec, even worse, one of the uh, little minions. It takes a little bit of muscle memory, but it also helps for stepping underneath her in, in a timely manner. You can save prayer by turning it on and off when you're comfortable and hitting her. Have some uh, high level food and some brews, you know, for oh shit food is what I call it. Now right here, you gotta make sure you transition all your stuff and the, uh, the ranging phase goes pretty much as uh, per usual. Here you'll see me killing her just with the blow pipe now I, I intentionally stand right up against her because her melee attack is one of the three randoms she can hit if she's up close to you and the melee doesn't hit as hard usually um, generally hitting zeros if you have good defense like that um, it's up to you whether you want to pray uh, range or mage at this point just kind of pick your poison one might be a little bit better than the other depending on your armor but it's up to you so uh, there you go that's a normal kill like that here's another ideal setup we have her against what looks like the western wall and uh, we're using a uh, really choice setup right here we have a minion on the left side and then behind her we're able to calmly, precisely turn our prayer on and off, attack her, wait, do it all over again, rinse, repeat. That's really good. Some people prefer the bludgeon for this task, but using this method, I found the Elder Maul hits harder. And you don't need the speed because you're already waiting for her health bar to disappear, so the bludgeon, uh, it just becomes an expensive, um, unnecessary thing as well as the uh, dragon warhammer that's another uh, thing it's a little expensive you don't really need it i'd say the only thing that's totally necessary here is a bgs you could solo this girl with a bgs and a magic short bow imbued if you felt like it um you know just got to use that crush on her so uh check this out so i was actually just using the normal method to kill her um, again standing right up next to her because when when you're able to take the melee hit she normally doesn't hit as hard with that attack see zero but then you know um, the mage the mage sort of gets me here uh, I think I think I miscalculated what she was gonna hit and how much health I had right here you see I got 27 HP I was about to sip another brew maybe but it, I didn't get there in time but check it out dying at cow fight queen can work to your advantage if you still had some supplies left on you because uh, once you loot your gravestone and get your equipment back your food is dropped on the ground still you can use this if you have a world that you can claim as your own now you can get crashed and, and totally ruin a death pile of food but as you see right here, it works to my advantage because I was able to get back there quick enough, get my equipment, and then there was still some potions and a little bit of food and some stuff on the ground. 
uh, for, to extend the pre the next trip, which lasted about uh, over 12 minutes. Here's a you know fast forward, high speed rerun of uh, this trip. It lasted about 12 minutes. When the usual technique is, if you have a house, you're gonna go here and spec her with the BGS, maybe even do that two or three times, and then come and kill her. And a lot of people would teleport out after every kill. Uh, using this method, it saves a lot of damage on the first phase, and can uh, lead to three, four, five, six kill trips. Sky's the limit, depending on how good you are using this method. Now, it takes a little bit of learning, it is for a patient person, but I'd say it's it's a lot better than having to make that lap all the way back through the desert, through the cave, back down, hoping somebody hadn't crashed you. You want to stay here for as long as possible. Here's how to get to the Calphite Queen. If you already have the Elite Diary done, probably don't have to explain it to you, but use the Fairy Ring BIQ. I remember it kind of like Bic Pens, BIQ, and then you go over a little bit to the north and then west go down the tunnel you can use the shortcut if you have the agility or go around if you don't have the elite diary you can uh, still use BIQ if you don't have that fairy ring try you going to the shanty pass you got to run pretty much directly west you're gonna need two ropes if you don't have the elite diary done two ropes to get in one at the hole and one at the second hole to get into the Queen's lair um, this is the Calphite Lair as opposed to the Slayer area, which is just to the east, like right next to the Shanty Pass. So if you're on a task for, for like Konar, and she says kill 100 or so Calphite at the Calphite Lair, you can kill the boss using that task. You want to check to see if any other people are down here. Crashing, um, this is a real toxic boss for crashers, you know, people will crash you all the time, they won't, they won't check and they'll just kind of run up on you, they might even spec the thing a, a time or two before they notice you're even doing this. Uh, and and people you know it's like one of those you know oh and I, I know you are but one of my kind of things when you call people out on crashing it's like they'll be like oh I was here before you and you're like no I, what uh, bro come on so you just gotta you gotta deal with it sometimes luckily I didn't get crashed too much but it does happen you want to stay here for as long as possible especially if you're going for the head to finish the elite diary to make this whole process quicker or the pet or you know something else so thank you so much for watching this has been weed es rebel old school runescape tips and tricks keep it real